Hello, today we're going to talk about tabs and before we get started I want you to make sure you have your ruler showing. You can see that my mouse is over here above the vertical ruler. I'm going to click on the view ruler button there. You could also go to view and choose ruler right here. So either way, this is how you turn your ruler on and off. Go back to the home tab. The next thing I want you to do is I want you to click on your show hide button right here and this shows all non-printing characters. Now most of you know that a non-printing character would be the space bar, the tab key, or an enter. So you can see that those are all non-printing characters. Now um, the reason why I have you turn that on is because we are going to be working with tabs and I want you to be able to see where you have pressed the tab key. So to get started, I want you to look right here. This is a tab selection box. It's over in the upper left corner. Um, you will only see that if your ruler is turned on. By default, the left tab stop is showing, but if you click right there, you'll see that this is a center tab stop, this is a right tab stop, this is a decimal tab stop. So as you click on these, you can go through and you can change what type of tab stop you want. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing an airline quote document and setting some tabs just to show you how this works. So first tab stop, what I want to do is I want to come over to the one inch mark on the ruler. And I'm going to click one time and that's a left tab stop. If I wanted to change my next tab stop, I would just come over here and change it on the tab selection box. But I'm going to go ahead and just keep the left tab stop and click on the left on the three inch mark and then again on the five inch mark. Now I'm ready to start tabbing. So I'm going to tab over underneath the one inch mark and I'm going to type airline. I'm going to tab over underneath the three inch mark and I'm going to type first class. And then I'm going to tab over underneath the five inch mark and I'm going to type coach. So I'm going to press enter. I'm going to press tab. And now you can see that my cursor is right underneath the airline. I'm going to type Alaska for Alaska Airlines, tab over, and they are charging $350 for the first class ticket that I'm looking at. I tabbed over under coach and they are charging $150 for a coach ticket. So now I press enter, tab, I'm back underneath the airline category and I'm going to type Southwest for Southwest Airlines. and they are charging $349. Tab over underneath coach, they are charging $149. So you can see once the tabs are set, whenever you press the tab key, it will take you directly underneath that tab stop. And depending upon if you chose a center tab stop or a right tab stop is how your text would align to the tab stop. Now if you were if you wanted to make a change after you've created your tabs, you have to remember to select the entire tabbed area. You wouldn't want to come up here and change this line by line. You want to select the tabbed area and then you're going to change your tab stops. So to do this now, there's a couple of different ways that you can do it. You could come up to one of your tab stops and you could double click on top of it. Boom, boom and that takes you into the tabs dialog box. That's how I usually do it. You could also go to page layout. You could go to this paragraph dialog box launcher that I'm pointing at. And then down in the lower left is where it says tabs. That takes you to the same exact place. So if I want to align my um, three inch tab stop to be a right tab stop. I just click, I choose set, and then I can click on the five inch tab stop. I want it to be a right align tab stop, set, and then OK. And now you can see that this column is now aligned to the right of this tab. This column is aligned to the right of that tab. And that is how you set up your tab stops. Sometimes you will want what are called dot leaders to go between your tab stops. Now in this situation I wouldn't want my first row to have the dot leaders because this is more of my um, headings. 
So what I'm going to do in this situation is I'm going to select the second and the third row. I'm going to go back into my tabs dialog box. So remember, you just double click on a tab stop. Boom, boom. I'm going to click my three inch tab stop. I'm going to choose, see right here it says leader. I'm going to choose that I want the second dot leader option set. And then I'm going to choose the number five. For the five inch tab stop, I'm going to say that I want the two inch dot leader set. And when I click OK, I have my dots. Looks good. So we use this a lot, like if you have a table of contents and you have all the chapters on the left and then dot, 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 page number, there you go. So that's um, where I'm going to end this video for now. There's a lot more to learn about tabs. Hope you enjoyed this lesson.